If you use online databases and various other digital repositories, and if you're conducting a research project that lasts for more than a month, and certainly one that lasts years, you need to make sure that you keep track of the keywords that you are using and the databases you are searching. In this video, I'm going to give you a download link to a very simple Excel document that I use for all of my projects. And quite simply, in the uh, columns, I list out all of the various databases that I am running searches in. And then in the rows, I am keeping track of all of the keywords in all of their permutations that I have used. In the various cells in the Excel doc, I keep track of the date when last I ran a search in that database. The simple reason being that these databases are constantly changing uh, with new materials being added to them. And if I don't remember when I ran a search on something, a particular keyword in a particular database, uh, it may have changed and new materials may have been added to it, but I may not rerun it. By contrast, if I keep track of when I ran my last search there, let's say it was four years ago, then I have a kind of built-in reminder that, wow, a lot has happened potentially in four years. I should run another search. Now, this might seem like extra paperwork. Why would I want to do this? But the simple reason is this. At the end of any serious research project, you are going to end up with quite literally hundreds of different keywords in a variety of permutations and potentially hundreds, uh, but certainly over a hundred digital repositories or databases, whether that's the Online Archive of California or Hathi Trust or Google Books or the various historic newspaper collections there are, you know, the list goes on and on. And unless you start a reasonable record keeping technique, you are going to lose track of that process. And chances are there's going to be some keyword that you have neglected to run through searches in some database. And what that's going to mean are materials that you forget, didn't kind of read or uh, take, it, take uh, note of in your research. These are going to be materials whose existence you may not even be aware of. So right now at the bottom of your screen is a download link where you can get hold of the very simple document that I use to keep track of my keywords. I'll see you in the next video.